What a charming welcoming committee. Gentlemen, I am Constantine of House Orsay, your new governor. I have no idea what sort of ceremony you've prepared for my arrival, but I would gladly skip it, so... <laughs> indeed, indeed, these are rather peculiar customs. I, I see, I see, it seems you were quite intent on serving me a drink. Cat got your tongue, gentlemen? Would it be those annoying beaks? <laughs> I am truly sorry these doctors should have shown a greater measure of courtesy. Thank you, dear doctors. Move along. Don't trouble the noughts. Pay no attention to them. Instead, just drink. The long voyages at sea require the appropriate treatment as soon as we land. According to our scientists, without fortifiers, you might catch your death, and that would be quite regrettable. I should have chosen death. This concoction is liquid torture. I would think that they would have warned you on the ship. Not in the slightest. And you must be Lady Morange, my predecessor. You are correct. There you To your health. Aha! You got your dose of bile too. Allow me to present to you Lady Morange, and to you, my dear lady, my most trusted cousin. Where is the captain? He seems to be preoccupied with some sort of admiral. Indeed. Then I will have to thank him later for this most marvelous voyage. Excellency! Lead me to the palace, I beg you. And, whenever possible, go by way of all the intriguing alleyways. I am dying with impatience to discover this new city. My city! Uh, your Excellence! We must wait for our escort! No need. Have no fear, for I am here to defend you, my lady. I've been scullied. How so? My Admiral... My cousin was nonetheless delighted with your services. I hope that there was no misunderstanding. None, I'm sure of it. She just ordered me to give you any assistance you might need. This request doesn't seem to please you. Don't take offense, but it's not pleasant for a captain to abandon his ship. In any case, here I am at your service, for a while. 